Hello families, I'm Dan Burns, superintendent of the Salinas Union High School District. It was one year ago this week that the district made the now historic decision to switch to distance learning for 16,000 plus students due to the COVID-19 pandemic. With that decision, countless lives were saved and the school district board of trustees in partnership with the administrative classified and certificated leadership, as well as staff, made the bold move to do its part to ensure the safety of the entire city of Salinas. The decision to close schools was not an easy one and required the board to review available science, data, and risks associated with the virus, which little was known about at that time. It was a remarkable endeavor that required tireless effort and strong leadership with a focus on safety of everyone while still maintaining the district's three points of focus, innovate, equity, and achieve. In reflecting on the year past, I am proud of the work of our teachers who had to pivot to a new model of instructional delivery, not once, but multiple times. I am proud of the commitment of our counselors, support staff, and administration to providing the best learning opportunities under difficult requirements. I am proud of our students for being resilient and staying engaged as much as possible, and their parents for supporting the ever-changing school program. Now, as there is more known about the virus, and there is research focused on schools, the district will champion a new shift towards a possible reopening of our school sites for in-person learning. This will not be an easy task and surely will not meet the immediacy of returning to normal as many of us may want. Of course, all of this is contingent on the region entering the red tier. And while the state has offered incentive funds for all school districts to reopen, this will not be what drives the district's vote on a reopening plan at its upcoming special board meeting, which is scheduled for Thursday, March 18th at 5.30 p.m. The Salinas Union High School District is the largest school district in Monterey County. Therefore, our efforts will require tremendous consideration for the entire city and its 150,000 plus residents. While COVID-19 cases continue to decline and the amount of virus transmission is lower, we must still be diligent in our efforts to help prevent the spread of the virus. Therefore, any decision to reopen will require the district to have strict adherence to the health authority guidelines for anyone who enters our campuses which may include having stable cohorts, physical distancing, virus screening, and constant sanitation, just to name a few of the numerous requirements that everyone would be subject to in the event of schools reopening. For the past year, the district has methodically implemented guidelines to prepare facilities for the safety of our staff, students, and the community. From adding the highest quality air filters and air economizers to our HVAC systems, to having daily wellness checks for everyone on site, we have been, pre been preparing for a safe return of our students. Now the district is in the midst of collecting input and feedback from our families and staff to ensure all points of view are heard. Keep in mind any decision to reopen will focus on prioritizing the needs of our most vulnerable students while maintaining consistent structures of student support and daily routines. Furthermore, we must acknowledge the inequities exasperated by the pandemic. Specific areas within our district have been hit harder by COVID than others. Thus, in order to reopen safely, we must consider the full implications of decisions and how they may be there may be different consequences for different populations within our district. As we did one year ago, when we unfortunately began this journey, 
We must maintain unity while implementing our mission of student achievement for all students at all times. Finally, we recognize that reopening schools is itself a divisive issue within our community. Our survey data indicates that families are split almost evenly in their perspectives in reopening versus maintaining distance learning. Let me assure the community that the board will be moved to vote based on what they believe is best for students, for families, for teachers, and for the entire staff. It is also important to share that to date, we have offered over 1,200 staff members the opportunity to schedule an appointment to get a COVID-19 vaccine. By the end of this week, we are confident that all of our staff will have received that same offer. We understand that getting this vaccine is a personal decision, and at the same time, it adds another area of defense as we do our part in reducing exposure and spread of the virus. On behalf of the district, I invite everyone to view our COVID-19 safety plan at the link listed below. I also encourage you to watch Thursday's special board meeting, which will be streamed on YouTube. You can get the meeting link from our website at salinasuhsd.org. I want to thank everyone for their patience, for their consideration, and for their support during this momentous period. It goes without saying, there is much work to be done as we transition into this new phase of educating students during the pandemic. Again, thank you and be well.